Would you like to create a low-cost garden that doesn't require any digging? Hi, I'm Valerie with Now Gardening, and today I'm here to show you how to create a no-dig garden in three easy steps. And please stay tuned to the end of the video where I will show you two vegetables that thrive in a no-dig garden. Now, if you saw my video on using cardboard in the garden, you remember that I mentioned using it as the first layer, and that's where we're gonna to start today. Because step number one in making a no-dig garden is to put down cardboard. The beauty of a no-dig garden is that we lay the cardboard directly over the grass and weeds. I laid this cardboard about three weeks ago, and already the grass and weeds are mostly dead underneath it. Make sure that the size of the cardboard is bigger than the area that you want to plant. For example, here I will leave a border of about 6 inches or about 15 centimeters around the entire area that I'm going to plant. This will create a degree of separation between my garden bed and the weeds and grass that are around it. I give the cardboard a good watering before I start putting the compost on top of it. This is completely optional and is not considered one of the steps of creating the no-dig garden. I just do it to help kind of hold the cardboard down and in place so it doesn't move around as much as I put the compost on. Step number two is to add your compost. Here I'm using a ready-to-plant mix that is made for an organic garden. And I want the depth to be around 10 inches or around 25 centimeters. Step number three is to smooth out your compost. Here I use a rake to level the compost, leaving a border around the edge to keep the weeds and grass at bay. Once I finished, I lightly pressed it down in order to help it all stay in place. At this point, you can add rocks or wood to help stabilize the soil. This is a completely voluntary step. I'm going to do it because my land is in a slope, and so I want to help stabilize the bed and protect the soil to prevent erosion when it rains. That's it guys, this no-dig garden is ready to plant. And as promised at the beginning of the video, I will now show you two vegetables that love growing in a no-dig soil. Onions and potatoes thrive in a no-dig garden because they love to have rich soil that is not compact. 